what's going on guys it's me xros and today i have an amazing video for you guys so recently i made a video called how to get any pc game for free and a lot of you liked it but there was one flaw with that video so let's go to the website which i uh, which i made a video on crowhazard.com i don't know where i went so crowhazard.com so here there are tons of great games gta 5 black ops 3 all of that good stuff but there's a problem you see so when you come here and then you know they show they show download it's gonna open mega and this is basically the only way you can download these games other than using a torrent and let's be real it's 2017 nobody uses torrents anymore this is basically your only option but the problem with this it gives you good internet speed but the problem with this is that there's a cap to 5 gb so it'll download 5 gb of the of whatever you're downloading then it will wait for eight hours download another 5 gb wait for eight hours 5 gb like that i mean the time can vary it's minimum is going to be eight hours it can be around 16 hours all of that so you don't really want that like especially if you're downloading a game like gta 5 it's like 60 gb i don't know it's going to take you like two weeks i don't know whatever it's going to take you a long time so yeah so how do you do this so like battlefield 1 is like 20 20 gb and if you want to get it it's going to take you a long while so i'm going to show you what it will show if you use this method so yeah it's going to show something like this once you go above 5 gb it's going to show something like this to buy stuff but if you don't want to buy it wait like i said eight hours so it's really inconvenient but i found a way to bypass this so i'll leave a link in the description for an app called mega downloader i'll leave the video link on how to install it and uh, what do you call it? download link yeah so i'll leave those in the description you guys can install it. it's very straightforward basically like any other download so once you get that what you want to do uh, come to crowhazard.com or any mega file and then choose the game you want and then once you come here you want to copy this link with the, the https mega.nz that link you want to copy that uh, and then go to mega download and this is the app so i was going to look and so what you want to get so you want to double click that open it so yeah so you can see right there if you squint your eyes I downloaded Black Ops 3, Battlefield 1, and Modern Warfare 2 just to test it out how it works. Uh, just to, to test out if this app works. And I, I just deleted all of them once I got them. So all of these are there. So it actually works. So what you want to do, once you open this app, you want to click on the, uh, no, before you do that, you want to click on options, and you want to click on configuration. And here you don't need to put in email, just leave all that. But once you come here, at connection, it will say number of parallel downloads, one. It's gonna say three, but you need to put it one. Otherwise, you won't get the speed you want, or like what the internet is gonna provide. It's gonna, it's gonna be very less. So keep that to one. Trust me, keep that to one. It's gonna be three or something, but keep it to one. And then save that, and then close. Then what you wanna do is click on plus, add links. Choose where you wanna put it. So I'm gonna put it in the desktop. And then here, you see this big white place. You wanna pop, like paste the link. What do you want to name it? Let's say Battlefield what? Yeah. And then click add link. And then here is gonna say verifying, creating, download. So now it's gonna start and estimate the download speed. And then it's gonna like start getting the speed. And then yeah, I don't know why it's showing 700 kbps, but it can go up to I think 10 mbps, which is pretty good, it's decent. I mean it's better than waiting 8 hours between 5 GB so I prefer this because I put Black Ops 2 for downloading using normal mega it took me 3 days or 2 days I think I put Battlefield 1 for download this morning and it was done in like 1 hour so I don't know why you want the other method or anything like this so yeah that's basically it I'm gonna download it's not gonna show 500 kbps like that's what it showed to me initially when I started using the app and then just wait for around 5 to 8 minutes and it's gonna get up to your normal speed I mean if your Wi-Fi speed is only around 500 then I can't really do anything but well, you, it, should get up to the, it should get up to the normal speed so yeah that's basically it hope you guys have enjoyed this video hopefully it helps a lot of you out so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed like comment and subscribe peace out